Let's take a look at creating a little slug with a slug animation uh, in layout. I'm not going to use any models. Uh, I'm not going to go into modeler and build anything. I'm going to do it all in layout using hypervoxels. Okay, so one thing that I can do is come over to items, add null, and we're, and we're going to call this slug. Okay, and I can turn this into uh, a hypervoxel. If I render what I have right now, I have nothing because nulls don't render, but if I go over to control F6, add volumetric and add hypervoxels, I'm going to put this over here, I can have this end up rendering. Now instead of having to keep doing an F9, I'm going to go over to the renders tab and add Viper. When I double click on slug, this slug null, I get uh, what looks like a sphere because I'm using an object type surface, so it's a surface voxel with a one meter particle size. And what I'm going to do is um, set this up. I'm going to size that down 0.5, just make it a little bit smaller. And if I want, instead of it being gray, I can dress this up by changing the shading or the hyper texture. Uh, but what I'm going to do is head over to Windows, Presets, and I'm just going to choose, um, I'm going to choose this rock with moss. Okay, and use those settings. Okay, so I've got those settings on my um, on my surface voxel, and it looks better than the gray. But what I'm going to do is add several nulls that I can work with, and uh, and then that way uh, we can make a little slug. So I'm going to close down. I'm just going to close down both these windows for right now. We know that that this is a surface voxel uh, that has been applied to the null, and I'm going to come over to items. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and first just set up a, a quick little motion. So I'm going to go over to frame 60, pull this to the side, go to frame 30, and now we've got our award-winning little slug animation. It's going to go on this path. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use a motion options tool to uh, help me set up my slug. Uh, so I'm going to make a new null, and I'm going to call this slug2. And I'm going to parent that to the first slug. And then for add modifier, I'm going to choose lead the follower. And I'm going to have it lead 15 frames ahead. Okay, So it's going to use the same motion path as its parent. Okay? I'm going to clone that and have that be 10 frames. And I'm going to clone that one and have that be five frames. Okay. So here's our little animation. Okay. And I'm not going to worry that they collapse on each other. I'm going to say that my animation stops at frame 45. And that way we never see them collapse on, e on each other. Let me grab my camera, get a good camera view here, showing off my little slug. Okay, so we got our little slug animation going, but we need to turn it into a slug. I'm going to go over to Render Viper, okay, and we still only have one surface voxel. So I'm going to go over to the Control F6 and open up Hypervoxels, the Hypervoxel panel. And right now I only have that texture applied to one surface. So I'm just going to copy, paste, paste, paste. Okay, so they all have the same setup. Now in Viper, it's only showing one voxel at a time. That's because my preview option is set to object preview instead of scene preview. Ah, there we go. That's looking a little bit more like a caterpillar. Uh, I want these to blend together so it's one big object. So to do that, I'm going to go over to slug and for blending mode, I'm going to change it to additive. And for blending group, I'm going to make a slug group. Okay. And for each one of these, I'm just going to say additive slug. Additive slug and additive slug. So each one of these is set to additive slug, so as you can see, they're blending together. I'm actually going to change this to 640 by 480 just so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so if I didn't have 
it set to additive slug and I just said none you can see they're not connecting they're not blending together so I want them to blend together so that's using the blending mode and blending group option in hypervoxels to make these blend together okay so now if I scrub over to say frame 20 we can see it's starting to bend and conform so if I want to see uh, the full thing I'm gonna go to 320 by 240 and I'm just gonna say make preview so what it's gonna do is frame by frame it's doing a little preview uh, animation of my little slug moving about and once I have it I'll be able to play it back so I can kinda see a, a test animation without having to go and do a full render uh, it's just a little preview animation we're almost there we've got um, just a few more frames okay and now I can push play and I can see my little slug moving and it's not an object it's just surface voxels and all I had to do was use four nulls uh, and they all are moving on the same motion path using lead the follower and the motion options panel but what I end up with is a pretty cool little slimy uh, mossy creature uh, that uh, I didn't have to use any objects for so I'm just taking advantage of the hypervoxels the surface voxels and using the blending groups to blend these separate objects together uh, so that they become one little uh, slug creature. So that's just a quick look at uh, using hypervoxels to create a slug creature.